Hey, everybody. All right, so this one's about the economy. China's laying off 1.8 million workers in the coal and steel industries. As part of uh, President uh, Xi, Ping, uh, Xi Jinping's politically difficult to effort to restructure the world's second largest economy, it's unclear as to the time frame for these cuts, but basically it's been announced by Yin Main, uh, China's Minister for Foreign Resources and Social Security. So it's all right here in the beginning, folks. So, like I said, no, this will happen quickly over, say, a 10-year period or what the situation is. But this is going to happen, and it is saying roughly 1.8 million in coal and in, in steel industries. And this is part of President uh, Xi Jinping's uh, politically difficult decision to basically affect and restructure the world's second largest economy. And it is unclear at the time frame for the cuts. Uh, but it has already moved to the uh, China's Minister of Foreign Resources and Social Security. So folks, if it's already on that guy's desk, then you know that there's at least a time frame where it's going to be soon. You know? In recent decades, China built its economy on heavy state investment in export-oriented manufacturing industry. Those investments created large numbers of jobs for low-skilled people flooding China fastly growing cities. But China seems to have over-invested, leaving a glut of space in the heavy industry sector. It's basically forced plants to cut pieces and prices deeply. Low prices mean those factories are effectively operating at less subsidized by the state. And China's producer price index has a nice little graph that I want to show you. Because it's actually very important. So I guarantee you folks, this is, I believe this is actually by the United Nations to cut um, not only the oil industry and, and the shale uh, industry folks, but also the uh, coal and steel. I've told you about this before, and I think I brought you something on China about this uh, probably six months ago, if not more. But this is actually true, and it's already in China's... Uh, Let's see, who did I say? Do, 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 do. Yin Wenming, uh, China's Minister for Foreign or for Human Resources and Social Security. Well, that's actually nice that they got a Human Resources and Social Security all in one. That's kind of nice. means they probably care at least a little. Well, if they cared, they wouldn't be laying people off. Okay, anyways. Uh, there's another really good graph. I want to show you this. This is important. Uh, shows China's quarterly GDP year by year and percentage change. Investment booms peak in 2007 and fall 6.8 in fourth quarter in 2015. This is very important, folks, because as you know, as soon as we see something peak in China, China being the place of business thereof, etc., it will soon affect the United States, Germany, Canada, and everywhere else. So this is actually very something that you need to actually look at. China's quarterly GDP. Year-on-year -year percent change. Investment boom fuels peak by 2007. Uh, growth slows amid Great Recession. And falls 6.8% in fourth quarter. So, you know, they see something as they go ahead and they make the adjustment as they need it. So basically, let me show you that one more time, because China 
this almost hit their Great Recession low. I mean, it wasn't that far, folks, for them to fall. Granted, they were there over here as well. But if you notice, they caught themselves and it was a steady decline. Well, they caught themselves, now they can go up. And now they know what industry, where to cut, and how. Obama wants to cut our, uh, our coal, so does China, and so China will be laying off 1. Million, 1. 1.8 million people. So, this is very, very, very important, and as important as it probably should be for you and for your families. Because when these countries make investment, folks, unfortunately, no doubt, we'll the trail. Um, according to this, these issues don't just rest with China. Uh, countries vary as Brazil to Australia are largely crucial suppliers for raw materials such as iron ore and coal for China's industrial sector. They've been faced with steep declines in prices of those commodities. Brazil's economy has sunk into deep recession into the export se uh, sector. So we're actually starting to see that, that happen here, folks. We're actually starting to see this economy to where the oil prices dropped. It took the shipping industry, now it's taking the manufacturing industry with it. And now the raw materials, the, G, the GDP is affected. Uh, U.S. steel companies alone have announced a $1.4 billion loss during the fourth quarter of 2015. According to the U.S. Department of Commerce, so we've already kind of met these figures, and more. Like I said, folks, it's coming. <laughs>